Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's November 25th, 2022, and today is mail day. It's Friday, so I want to show you all the things that have come in the mail today. There's some things that uh, I have to wait, unfortunately, to show you. Uh, I can show you the outside, but I don't know what's in the inside either in some of them, so uh, we'll have to wait on those. I got two official postcards from Post Crossing this week, and then the rest is all friend mail. Uh, I've been getting a mixture between my P.O. Box, which is that dad guy at P.O. Box 22, Station, Maine, Moncton, New Brunswick, E1C8R9, Canada, if you want to rate. It's always in the description of my videos as well. Um, but where it's Friday, let's show you what got, showed up this week. So first is this one. It comes from Austin, Texas. It's a botanical card and that says, greetings from Austin, Texas, south of the border. Wishing you enjoyable fall. Send some cold air my way once in a while. So, and it's just signed J. Uh, you can have as much cold air as you want. It's three degrees here today, so it's a little warmer than it has been the last couple, but um, take as much of this as you want. You can send all the warm air back up. I would be glad to have warm air over cold air. There is the forever stamp that he puts. So thank you, Jay, for that card. The next card is another botanical one. This comes from Great Britain. Uh, it comes from Mandy. She says he li she lives in the south of England, loves animals. They have five horses, two donkeys, eight rare breed sheep, and a miniature dash hound um, called Slinky. I hope you like this postcard of the Exbury Gardens. It is beautiful all year round. Mandy. So, very cool. What really caught my attention was the stamps, So Look at all the stamps of our beloved queen. Um, yeah. There's going to be a, a few more stamps of the queen going through this bundle too. But uh, I love these ones. Um, especially these two here. I mean, these ones came out more recently, showing different events through time. But uh, these ones here really stick out for me. So thank you, Mandy, for that. Now let's get into a few postcards from friends. This one comes from Sweden, comes from Kristen. She said she bought this postcard from Marion BCN on Instagram. And then uh, she makes a living by sending... Uh, uh, cool snail mail packages to people. She says she recently went to a Dire Straits tribute band to I Really Like Dire Straits, Money for Nothing, all that stuff. Very cool uh, Swedish stamps there. Wintery vibe, makes it look like Christmas is coming. Maybe even post offices there. So thank you, Kristen, for that. This next one is a maxi card. And here we go again with the Queen. Uh, this one comes from Jilly B of Jilly B Living Her Life Her Way of YouTube uh, fame. It's funny, on the back, she put this uh, peace, Ukrainian peace thing, and someone thought it was a real stamp, so they pen cancelled it. Uh, so, but no cancellation mark on the front. So, very nice. Thank you so much, Jilly, for all the uh, the cards and comments that you leave on the channel. This next beautiful card comes from Nicole in Ohio. Uh, this is the Palace Grill, or this was the Palace Grill here in Moncton. Um, it doesn't have a date on the card, but it says luxurious dining in downtown Moncton, offering a select choice of fresh seafood, red brand steaks, and famous Chinese food, private dining rooms, fully licensed takeout services, and the phone number. Unfortunately, the Palace Grill no longer exists. It's been torn down, but uh, in its heyday, it was the place to go if you, you had a special meeting or uh, something going on. Uh, we had two places like that, Palace Grill and Size Restaurant. Uh, they were kind of iconic um, in their time, but both are no longer in existence. Other things have come in. There are other much fancier restaurants and a variety of restaurants um, around town now too. So there's other places to eat. But in the heyday, the Palace Grill was the place to be. There are the stamps Nicole put on the back. 
Thank you so much, Nicole. This is the second time Nicole has sent me a vintage postcard of my city, uh, all the way from Ohio. So I think it's cool that somewhere along the way, someone was collecting postcards in my area and then made their way back to the United States. And through purchases of collections, Nicole has come across a bunch of them. So thank you for continuing to send them my way and uh, showing me or uh, giving me some of the memories back that I once had of some of these places. All right, moving on to the next one. This one comes from Sam in the U.S. And uh, Sam has got this nice hedgehog hanging out on a bunch of apples. She says, uh, had a big drop in temperature, but they've been enjoying the fall um, in their a local apple orchard down the way and enjoying fresh apple cider, and of course, cider donuts. I'd never heard of cider donuts before. Uh, we've got Halo donuts. You may have seen them in my video yesterday. Uh, the box is still there. There's two don donuts left out of the six that were originally in it. And I'm the only one eating them. Um, so yeah, cider donuts. I've never had a cider donut. I've had an apple fritter. Um, but that's about as close as I have to an apple-infused uh, donut. So I'd be very uh, curious to try a cider donut one day. So thank you. On the back, there are the stamps. Nice Halloween stamp there too. So, so thank you, Sam, for that card and the story along the way. All right, this next card comes from Northern Ireland, comes from Rachel. She sent me a very nice post box. She knows how much I like mailboxes and all those mail-related themes uh, as being a mailman. And then on the back, we have these new issue stamps. Always like the stamps that kind of go outside of the uh, the realm of the stamp. You can see there the back of the turtle and the hand and the elbow here. So they're not perfectly rectangular. They go out beyond. So thank you, Rachel, for that. All right, the next card made me laugh. This one here it reminds me of Monty Python. That was the first thing I thought of when I saw this. It also reminded me when I talked about uh, green thumbs and trying to explain that, uh, what a green thumb was. This person has a tree growing out of his head and he's in a flower pot down below. Uh, there's lots of artistic things that are going on with this. This comes from Aaron. Now, Erin, I don't know. She says, hello, Rob. Greetings from Denver, Colorado. I hope this finds you well. I wanted to reach out to say thank you for the cheerful channel. I like to think I'm single-handedly saving the U.S. Postal Service with all the stamps I buy. I hope you enjoy these. And there's the stamps that she's included on hers. So thanks for watching the channel. Um, I appreciate anyone who uh, takes time out of their day to watch these 10 or 20 minute videos that I put out and uh, to go above and beyond and uh, use my PO box to send me a card like this uh, and the stamps on the back, all sorts of really cool things happening there in those stamps. And uh, you didn't put a return address, so I can't send you something back, but I like that. Not that I don't like sending something back, but I like the fact that someone's taken the time uh, that they don't need credit for anything. They just wanted to uh, say how much they enjoyed the channel and uh, send me a card saying that uh, they've been watching. So thank you, Aaron. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you're watching this, leave a comment. I'd love to say something back, just a, a comment back. But thank you very much. Now, another person who has taken the time to do that is uh, Chris. Chris is, uh, is in New York State. He sent this envelope all covered in stamps. A lot of them, a lot older stamps there too. A variety of them there. There's even a stamp on the back. And only a couple of these have been cancelled because of the positioning all over. Some of them got cancelled up here and down here. Uh, nothing got cancelled on the back. And then inside, Chris sent this. The 6th International Philatelic Exhibition in Washington, 1966. It's just kind of a commemorative sheet that came out. And he says, thought you'd appreciate this cover and souvenir sheet. Note the cover has both uh, 11 cents in brass uh, and printed along. Let me just show you here. 
So here on the envelope, we have uh, an embossed printed along 11 cent stamp, along with an affixed 11 cent stamp. So where's the 11 cent stamp? Oh yes, down here. It says happy post crossing and happy stamp collecting, Chris. So thank you, Chris, for that. Chris did uh, include his address on the back, so I will send Chris a thank you back if you happen to be watching. Now the next card comes from Kyler in Prince of Rhode Island. It's a Thousand Shen, but it's a 3D Thousand Shen postcard. So I've just recently, um, just recently within uh, the last four or five months since the meetups we had in July and uh, Kyler had brought some Thousand Shen postcards to it. That was, that was the first time I saw any of those uh, in real life. I had seen them on a few videos of other people getting them and then now I've been getting a couple of them sent to me including ones from Kyler. So but this is the first time I've ever seen a 3D image card of the Thousand Shen. So thank you so much Kyler for that and he's included one of the new uh, New bird stamps that have come out. Thank you so much. Now the next couple all come from Media in Finland. I'm going to show you the stamps on the envelope. Really love this one here. The Christmas one that's come out. And she's included these hedgehog postcard. She was off on a trip again and uh, stopped by at a place that she always goes to get chocolates and postcards. So she sent me these two postcards. A little bit of hockey one there. So that she sent. And then she sent me this big envelope with those stamps on it. Looking very wintry here. And in that, we have a Lego Christmas, Lego Santa, Lego Space Santa. There's a lot of different themes going on with this postcard. But she said, I couldn't just pick one postcard for Christmas for you. So she picked two. So we have a hedgehog one too that's all Christmas themed. So thank you so much, Midia, for the uh, Christmas greetings. They're starting to come in. I know I sent a few cards out as well this past week. Um... I wanted to use up all the Christmas cards that I had from before, but now what I'm going to continue doing is decorating with Christmas theme, even if the image on the front isn't Christmas theme. All right, the last one coming from Media is this one here, and this is from Estonia while she was away. So we have a variety of stamps there. And within it, we have this Estonian postcard. It was recently her birthday, so uh, happy belated birthday to you. And this postcard. And this card of a show. It's an ice show. And then the final thing was this first day cover from Sweden. The postmark on it is 2005. At first I thought it was uh, just Christmas, but I guess it's winter theme. So a lot of different things going on here. But uh, really cool to have this first day covered from Sweden. So she went to Estonia, got some postcards, and also found this when she was out shopping. So neat, kind of neat, the treasures you can find along the way. And... Uh, Thought it, it was something I would enjoy, and I do. So thank you, Media, for uh, thinking of me with all those cards and the first day cover. I really appreciate it. Now, the next envelope I got comes from Bob in Ontario. So we have this Canadian stamp. And then on the back, we have this Mass Town sticker. Mass Town is in Nova Scotia, a lobster sticker. And uh, in it, he sent some postcards. So I'm going to show you these postcards in another video. Uh, we've got a couple video or another larger video coming up that this will be in. Um, also, Wendy here locally has uh, sent me this envelope, also has postcards in it, so I will show you that when I show you Bob's. And then this envelope showed up. Now, this envelope does not have a name on it. It is uh, from the United States, because you see all the stamps across here. 
uh, but there's no letter in it. Uh, there are just gifts inside. So if you happen to be the one that was sent to my PO box, so somebody uh, saw the address on there and decided that they would send me something, I appreciate that. It would be nice just to be able to say thank you to so-and-so for sending it. Um, so this is either sent with the uh, ultimate in anonymity, and uh, I'll never know who sent it, which is possible. And uh, that's great too. But if you want to uh, reach out and say, hey, hey, that was me, uh, leave me a comment and uh, then I can acknowledge you on it at least. Um, so those three things from Bob, Wendy and the mysterious person, because in the mysterious package, there are some postcards as well. Uh, I'm going to create a video for that uh, specifically for those three. The last thing that arrived is from Lewis. Lewis sent me a box. You can see all the stamps. But it also says, do not open until the 25th of December. So it may be a sticker, but uh, I'm going to abide by that sticker. This one I'm going to save till Christmas. It kind of rattles like a, a substance that I know. Um, so I may know what it is inside, but not the specific thing that it is. Um, but thank you, Lewis. I'm going to save this Christmas present for another month. A month. I'm going to go without uh, opening it and figuring out what you sent me. Um, I hope that is your intention. I think that you sent it uh, early just to make sure that the mail got here in time. Because sometimes uh, mail takes a while to reach its destination, especially at Christmas time. If you want your cards, your presents, everything to get out there and to be um, in the hands of the people you want them to be in uh, before the 25th of December, uh, make sure you send them early. So that's what Lewis has done from the United Arab Emirates, is that he uh, put this in the mail, got it out in good time, and now it has reached me. So now I can put it aside and wait till Christmas morning to open it up and see what's there. Um, so thank you, Lewis, for thinking of me for doing that. Thank you to... Uh, Wendy, Bob, and Mysterious Person for this future video to find out uh, what these postcards all look like and show you those. I know many of you uh, like seeing uh, the new postcards that people send in, so I'll be happy to do that. And then to all of these people, including the two um, official post crossings one, thank you for, for sending all this stuff. That means I will have things to do this weekend in responding on Sunday. Tomorrow is That Dad Guy Answers, part 42. So make sure your questions are in today. Um, I'm not sure how many questions are already on this one already. So go to the last That Dad Guy uh, Answers, part 41. Leave your comments, leave your questions so I have something to respond to. Uh, tomorrow because that's what tomorrow's plan is the other things this weekend happening are tomorrow night is the uh, santa claus parade here in town um, i'm not sure if i'm going to attend yet i haven't decided if i do i will film some the other thing uh, happening is turner's christmas at the coliseum which is a big craft show that shows up here uh, i am thinking about being going to that one so uh, i probably will film there if i am at it those are the plans for extra things this weekend. Um, my wife's company is also having their Christmas party this evening. So uh, we're a month before Christmas. So things like that start to happen. Well, that's going on. I won't be filming at that one. Uh, it's not my place to do that. But uh, it should be something fun to go and experience though. That's it. That was the mail week this week. I hope you guys have had exciting mail show up for you. Um, maybe you've had mystery mail too. People you don't know uh, who sent it to you, but you're happy you got it nonetheless. I want to make sure that you guys are uh, subscribed, first of all, to my channel. Uh, if you like it, uh, leave me comments. Uh, tell me what's going on so I can respond. I like interacting with everybody. Um, and make sure you're following other postcrossers. There's a lot of people that are uh, putting out great content. And the more people uh, that are responding to those and building up those channels, then that means probably the more people will hear about this hobby and we'll get more people uh, involved in post crossing. Don't forget, you can just go to postcrossing.com and sign up if you haven't done it already. Uh, it's a great way to get involved in the hobby, uh, be a part of the community. And uh, there are a lot of great people out here that are doing it. So get involved, leave comments, talk to us. All right, that's it for today. Have a magical week. 
What follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?